three cubes with sizes 3, 4 and 5 have the same volume as a cube with size 6. Now this can be demonstrated as a puzzle. There are 8 pieces here, 8 is the minimal number required as a cube has 8 corners and when a piece would have two corners from the 6 cube in the same piece then it wouldn't fit in a smaller cube anymore. Now here is the 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. Here is how to make the 4x4x4 four 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 cube with two pieces. And then with these remaining five pieces, first there is a rotation, which is really interesting. It's a rather simple rotation, but as you can see, this part of the shape gets underneath here. And that's why this piece doesn't come out right now can move like that and when you move it inside it locks this piece so that is an interlock uh, problem that's the second type of problem now the third type of problem that is present here is that this piece forms a unique lock so now the cube is locked nothing can come out except for the lock Now there's something very special about this puzzle. As I said, there are three problems. The, the lock, the movement problem, and the rotation. Now these are the three different types of problems that can make a cube interesting, or such a puzzle anyway. And when you look at this, this shape, it's the same shape made out of cardboard here. Only I drew a symbol on it. You see a 3, a curve, a little moon, and a dot. Now, this looks very similar to this symbol. Again, the 3, the curve, the half moon, and the dot. Only the difference is that the dot is drawn over here instead of over here. The reason I did that is that it just fits perfectly on the shape with the dot over here. I'll get back to that later. Anyway, when you, uh, you should know that this is the Om symbol, which is the symbol of Hinduism. And besides that, it also has the meaning of the Holy Trinity of Hinduism. Now, the Holy Trinity in Hinduism, you have Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Brahma is the, uh, the creator. Vishnu the sustainer and Shiva the destroyer and together they form Brahman which is the one God in Hinduism. Now it is interesting that you have the three problems in one cube combined and also you have three cubes becoming one cube so those are two interesting trinities. But what is really special is that I found within a collection of roughly 1.75 million solutions that there are roughly 81,000 that completely come apart as a puzzle. Of those, there is only one, which is this puzzle, where you have three different types of problems present in one cube. So this is a unique trinity that I found within this big collection of puzzles. So that's really interesting, I think. But there is more to it. When you make the 5 cube with the cardboard piece, then another meaning of the ohm symbol comes forward, which is omnipresence. When you look over here at the numbers, you see there's three squares on a row here. There are four squares over here. There are five squares on a row here. And there are six squares over here. So 
as you see on every side there is some orange which is omnipresent on the outside. Now with the 3, 4, 5 and 6 those are the numbers from the 3 cubes becoming 1 cube. Now if you take 2 times 6 you get 12, this is 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12 and 3 plus 5 plus 4 is also 12 so that makes a nice combination 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 12 on the outside. Then another thing is interesting which is the size of the pieces. This cube of 3 by 3 by 3 obviously has the volume 3 times 3 times 3 which is 27. Now it is interesting that in each of the three cubes one piece has size 27. When you look at this shape over here this is 4 by 4 that's 16 minus 2 is 14. Then over here you have another 2 by 4 4, that's 8. 14 plus 8 is 22. There's another 4 plus 1 is 5. 22 plus 5 is 27. Now when you look at this shape here, the one that resembles the ohm also has volume 27 which is the perfect volume as 8 times 27 is 216 which is the volume of the 6 by 6 by 6 cube. Over here you have 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1 by 1 cubes, 19, and then over here this C shape has 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is 7 plus 19 is 26, plus 1 over here is 27. Now I have just shown how to represent omnipresence on the outside and now it's time to represent omnipresence on the inside. The orange piece, looking like the ohm, is the only piece that has direct contact with all the other pieces. These two are touching. You put this one here, it also touches orange. one touches orange this one touches orange over here and over here and over here these pieces are touching each other this one clearly touches orange and finally there's a little orange over here for the 3x3 three three cube. Now let's get back to the dot being drawn over here instead of over here. One year ago I went to a gathering around Mother Amma in the Netherlands. She came to visit from India. And there I met a priest, a Hindu priest, who explained that when the dot is drawn over here it refers to the end, whereas the general ohm symbol refers to the beginning. Uh, according to Hinduism, the whole universe started with the sound OM. Now, I wondered if this shape appears in mathematics uh, representing the end, if the OM also appears in a shape representing the beginning. Now this could be an example a very strange shape that I found recently made it with magnets. And when you look over here you can see start of the 3, you can connect some more over here then you get a proper 3, you get a curve, there will be the moon and you can put a dot over there or even over here and more information about this shape, you can find it in the description. There is a link to another video of mine about this shape.